Welcome back. Uh, my name is Dan. Emily. From Ramblin' Ambition. In the last video we did, we kind of took out the uh, Amazon shelves. And Kinda, we did. They're gone. And you can see now, um, we took the bulkhead out too. And uh, we thought we were going to keep the lights, but we're not going to keep the lights. We found out that they're motion censored. And then they also kill the batteries. We're going to take out the lights too. So there's really nothing, no prime deals to be had from what was in here. Yeah. So un unfortunately, the they had some nice LED lights. They're all on like a motion sensor. And we learned quickly during the deconstruction process of the interior of the van that they will kill the battery in a heartbeat. Yeah. So f in this video, uh, we're going to, we have to basically scrub and clean. So we pulled the floor out. Uh, the floor that came from Mercedes is one piece. It's plastic, which is great because it's going to give us a template uh, for the finished floor that we're going to put in. Um, so that'll make uh, everything nice and easy to kind of lay down over uh, the plywood subfloor, trace out the pattern of the template that was made specifically for this floor. And that should allow us to kind of reconstruct things uh, fairly easily without having to do a lot of templating. Uh, but before we do that, we have to fix all of the holes uh, from the installers of the racks. Um, we have to sand down some rust spots. Uh, we have to treat that. And then we're going to start to scuff things down and uh, put up some sound deadening. The kill mat is basically butyl tape and a great big sheet. Uh, it's got a foil backing. And uh, we'll show you what the difference. So Mercedes did a pretty good job of... Um, putting some sound deadening panels uh, in the van before uh, it was manufactured. And you can see those right here. And if you listen, versus an un uh, sound deadened panel, and that's the sound we're trying to get rid of. Yeah, so the first step for us is, is really, it's the cleaning, um, it's the uh, rust prevention, and then um, it's the sound deadening. And We'll do that on all of the panels that don't have a uh, factory uh, sound deadening panel in it. And uh, then we're going to give everything a, a good coat of a rubberized coating that I've used before in some different circumstances. It'll help that um, even more. A lot of people have used uh, lizard skin and uh, it's a great product, but it's really expensive. And so there are some other alternatives that achieve the same uh, factor and uh, we're gonna try one of those and kind of see how it goes. So if this is something you're interested in, um, uh, please stick around for the video. All right, so these are uh, the Amazon lights. Uh, we have them disconnected already, and I'll kind of show you uh, how that kind of put together. So they were nice enough to, the installer put a harness together, and it actually has a pigtail for the positive in the ground. In this van, uh, the power center is underneath uh, the seat. And so the main ground wire for the light system is the white wire here. And it plugged into a, a nice uh, pigtail plug. And all we did was we broke the ground circuit and that got rid of the lights. So that was an easy solution. I was afraid we were gonna have to cut things, um, but uh, the wiring, whoever installed it did a great job of uh, putting connectors in there. And so we'll just have to grind the rivets here and here to pull these panels down. So as you can see, everything is out. The bulkhead is out, all the stuff is off the walls. It just, these are the kind of holes that we have to fix. And then there's just some rust where it looks like there's been some metal shavings um, that we just got to kind of clean up and it's just dirty. So here we are just uh, grinding off the rivets on the lights uh, and then once we finish those two things we just are popping the lights down and they came off. It really didn't take too long at all. All right so uh, we have uh, pretty much given everything a coarse vacuum. Um, as you saw we took the lights down and everything else so Everything's nice and clean on the roof. And now we're just going to take some of these 3M pads and we're going to scuff up um, all of the uh, surfaces so that uh, we get some good adhesion to 
the rust prevention that we're going to put down as well as uh, the kill mat that we'll do a little bit later. All right, so uh, we uh, gave everything a good clean. Uh, a good once over. Good once over. Uh, we got the three in pads, gave everything a, a scuff, and then we just wiped it down with water. Uh, to kind of Big step, it doesn't smell like a delivery van anymore. Yeah, little bits of progress, a little bit at a time. All right, so we uh, finished uh, doing like a light sand on everything, just kind of scuff everything up. Uh, we've uh, washed it down, wiped it down, van's nice and clean. And uh, we're going to start adding some of the kill mat to all of those hard panels uh, that make a lot of noise when you're driving down the road. So the plan is to add it to this area where there isn't any, like uh, we showed before, the factory did put um, some of the sound deadening on some of the larger panels in the upper and lower sides. And we're going to kind of fill in uh, the middle. And then we're also going to do the insides of the ribs so all the way through um, to kind of add some sound deadening and uh, insulation, if you will, to the floor. So uh, let's get to it. So this is the Kill Mat, the 80 mil version, and it basically comes in sheets like this. And it's got an adhesive backing on the back. And basically you stick that up on the panel and uh, we'll use this roller. It's a firm plastic roller to help roll it to make sure we have good adhesion to the wall panel. And that's kind of why we scuffed it up to kind of give it a mechanical bite too. So we'll kind of show you how that first uh, section goes up in there and kind of what our process is going to be like. Uh, we also have this stuff. It's similar stuff. It's made by uh, uh, Canopus. Uh, it's the same stuff. It's 80 millimeter uh, butyl with an adhesive back. These are just a little bit bigger sheets. And so this was left over from another project. So we'll use uh, both of them since I had some left over. We bought the extra box of uh, kill mat just to close the different gaps um, to make sure we had enough for the project. And uh, we'll go ahead and put it up. It should be pretty easy. You just peel the backing off and uh, stick it where you want it to go. So the goal is not to cover everything. It's just to cover, I believe it's like 50 or 60% of the panel. Uh, and that takes care of the sound deadening uh, that you're looking for. All right, so the nice thing about the kill mat and it comes in sheets that's kind of like perfect for the van. Uh, we're not gonna have a window here. So we'll, we'll fill these panels with one sheet each. And I'll show you how we do it. We're basically just gonna peel that off. And then you can see the Black Beetle rubber. And it doesn't have to be precise. And you'll see when I start to roll this out, the, these little dimples will flatten out. This is a nice roller. Again, I got it from Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, basically it so we're just gonna do that for all the panels that we know we're not gonna have uh, windows in all right so you can tell a difference. It's not a super big difference, big difference in my opinion, but it, it does take a little bit of the tinniness off. So 
and we'll go ahead and get to the other side. Alright, so we got the uh, most of the kill mat up on the walls, and now we're working on the floor. So we're cutting little strips, uh, just enough to fit in the bottom part of the channel, and then it's basically the same process of put it in, stick it down, and then roll it in. So we got all of that to do. All right, so uh, you guys get the idea. Uh, we're gonna cut to us being finished. And there we go. So, um, strips all along the uh, low sides. And the reason why we're not doing the entire floor is because as you can see, well, maybe you can see, but this is much lower than the high rib or flooring is going to go above the high rib and all we want to do is just give um, some sound deadening on the bottom and we're not filling that in because we want air to flow underneath so process went uh, pretty fast super smooth so it went super fast it was kind of like contact paper so super easy to peel off and then stick down on the floors and once we got rolling it went really fast yep yeah. so Basically the point of the butyl tape uh, and the sound deadening matter are twofold on the walls. It helps uh, deaden the sound vibration of the large metal panels. On the floor, um, a little bit of sound deadening from the road noise, but a lot of it's just uh, some small insulation uh, from the heat system uh, so that we can uh, control what comes up from uh, the exhaust, our heat radiating from it and the heat or cold uh, radiating from underneath the van when the wind's blowing. So we're gonna put some uh, polyiso uh, foam board down uh, below the subfloor anyway, and that'll give us an R value of R6. Um, so that should help. So the butyl tape is just in, and, or the sound deadening mat, which is butyl, um, is just helping us out with that. Yeah. So pretty good progress. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys got something out of it. Uh, our next video, uh, we've got two um, Max Air Fan Deluxe. Um, oh, the big cut's coming. Fans that are coming. Uh, we're going to have one in the front and one in the rear. And uh, once those get here, uh, we are going to cut two holes in the roof of the van. So the goal is to work from the outside in. So anything that has to be cut into uh, the outside of the van, uh, the fans, the windows, uh, the shore power connection, the roof rack, all of those things that are going to penetrate uh, the vehicle itself. Um, we want to do that first before we do anything else. So we don't want to mess up when we have it all pretty. Yeah. So we want to get all that done ahead of time. And so um, the next time you see us, uh, we'll have a, a pair of uh, Max fans to install. So that should be pretty exciting. This is Dan. Emily from Rambling Ambition, and uh, next time uh, we'll see you in the Sprinter van with a couple of Max Air fans. And slightly terrified to cut a hole, <laughs> but you're gonna do good, it'll yeah. be great. So subscribe, like, leave a comment, um, and we'll see you next time.